The Brontex Theater was built in 1942. It opened in January, and the first movie, in fact, shown in the theater was Birth of the Blues with Bing Crosby, Rochester, Brian, Don Levy. The theater uh, served as a movie theater and as a source of entertainment for the community in New Braunfels for about 57 years before it closed in 1998. There were a number of people who were uh, seriously interested in, in finding a suitable use for the Brontex. That group uh, came together, formed a nonprofit association, and purchased the building. We're now celebrating our 10th anniversary. In January of the coming year, the Brontex will celebrate its 70th birthday. So the Brontex sits here today serving as a source of entertainment and a social gathering place as a venue for the live performing arts as contrasted to the movie business. The Brontex sponsors and brings to the community touring professional groups from all over the country and in fact a number from, from across the world. Converting a movie theater into a venue for the performing arts was a considerable undertaking. The Brontex renovation was captured in three phases originally. We have completed two of those phases. The renovated lobby was transformed from a 900 square foot lobby to a lobby of over 2,000 feet. We have reconfigured the stage to accommodate live performances. It, the stage is slightly expanded and the balcony was reconfigured. Uh, so that leads us to the point of looking at the third phase of renovation. And that includes addressing many, many of the issues that our patrons uh, have expressed to us. For instance, the balcony uh, has sightline issues in, in some performances as they look at the stage. In an attempt to address that issue, we will lower uh, the stage by raising the floor. We'll bring the stage forward with a permanent addition and it will create an arc around the front of the stage so the stage is brought forward which will enable us to accommodate much uh, a greater diversity of uh, performances. The other problem has to do with patron comfort and that has to do with seats. So as we change the rake of the floor and eliminate the huge slope as you enter the theater, we will have a gradual rake on the floor going down to the stage. In doing that, we will uh, replace those seats with new seats that look very, very much like the seats that are in the Brontex today. And as a result of doing that, expand the uh, uh, capacity of the theater uh, to in excess of 600 uh, patrons. One of the key parts of addressing the needs of the theater is to provide a more suitable place for performers who come into the theater. And that will include building a permanent uh, dressing room facility or an artist accommodation area in the back. It will be permanently attached to the back of the building. It will be suitable for our local groups and, and certainly suitable for those that visit with us. This theater will become an even greater icon for the community. This will greatly expand uh, its regional awareness and, and continue to attract audiences and audience participation from Dallas, Austin, San Antonio, Houston, a good part of the resources that we bring into the theater go towards the maintenance and upkeep of the theater. And for those of you that are familiar with the big, huge Brontex marquee sign out there, that needs to be repaired about every year. So undertaking this renovation will again uh, require us to go out into the community and seek support uh, from individuals, from corporations, from foundations who so generously supported us in the beginning, from the city who was very gracious and generous with their support. And they recognize the value of the Brontex, as well as many of you in the audience recognize the value of the performing arts and the cultural arts uh, in general to the community. When we finish this phase of renovation, when you walk back into the theater, you'll see that we've held true to our original commitment of maintaining the Brontex in, in its original style and its original fashion, pretty much. And when you come back into the theater, you'll see the Brontex looking very much like it looked before, except it will be the new, improved, historic, new Brontex. For more information, to make a donation, or to get involved, stop by the Brontex at 290 San Antonio Street in the heart of downtown New Braunfels. Call 830-627-0808 or visit us on the web at www.brontex.org.